anybody else's hands, this is a microphone. In my hands, it's a pipe too much bomb. to be done on this pipe mic bomb. that I ain't doing ready. Pipe bomb. Pipe bomb. Pipe bomb. In anybody else's hands, this is a microphone. In my hands. Well, my first match apparently got AIDS and was deleted. Uh, thank you, Windows, once again. And now I'm coming from the beginning of, I guess, the second match, because I won of the first. So, I mean, it's fairly straightforward, but, uh, once again, this is terror of the voice of the voiceless here. Yes, I even went the voice of the voiceless route. Now, right now, I just curved out, or whatever curved out means, because I still don't believe in it. I still think you can have a ton of two drops, three drops, no four drops, and no one drops, and a couple five drops, and still do just as well as someone who quote, curves out perfectly. You know, it all comes down to mana. But, okay, apparently he kept a hand with one land. Okay, that was stupid of him. I'm not sure why. Also, uh, I am currently playing a guy in my clan who is in... Wow. Currently playing a guy in a clan that's in our clan. He's in a clan uh, in our clan on MTGO called uh, Limited Resources. We're number like three on the uh, on the list of clans, whatnot. Now I didn't make any changes. Uh, wow, that's a great hand. Hey, it only means I have ten mana left in the deck. I mean, how could I not go with that? But um. Limited resources is uh, it's a good place to find people, and make good trades, tell people they're gay. Normal shit like that. Um, so we're playing each other, and he's playing... See, he's he'll end up telling me after this, uh, I believe, that he cut me off from green. Bastard. He was sitting, like, right next to me and got... Pack one, pick two, mayor of Averbrook. So this guy's got an invisible stalker, which is always fun. Oh, and a villager is third turn. That's that's good. That's real good. Um, I gotta play that now, otherwise the villagers are gonna flip. But if he gets out one equipment, I think this game is pretty much over. I mean, I just did that clearly out of desperation. Uh, I really got to hope to just draw a flyer and, he, you know, because he has me on that 20 turn clock that the Invisible Stalker puts you on. I mean, now it's an 18 turn clock, so I now only have 18 turns to win the up. Oh, there's the Butcher's Cleaver. That fucking sucks. That really, really sucks. Uh, I I mean, this is also a terrible play on my part, but it gives me a blocker that can block his werewolf, which isn't the worst thing in the world, uh, and it doesn't allow him to put the um, uh, butcher's cleaver on his, uh, where, on his 2-3 uh, werewolf thing. Because it could have blocked it, and he would have gained a lot more life, and then he could have stuck it on the Invisible Stalker for the win. Um, I mean, another one's a great real trade on, on, you know, probably the smarter play was just go immediately Invisible Stalker, and then, you know, boom. But, um, so I'm going to do that, and he's going to attack, and I don't know why I think I have a chance at winning this game, because I don't. Uh, let's see, but do you want, let's play it out in Kinder Catch. Playing a ki Oh, wait, no, this guy isn't playing. This guy isn't in my clan. The guy I played previously was in my clan. He was playing a deck very similar to mine. It was white-blue. And, no, it was uh, green-blue, I'm sorry. And he cut me off from uh, blue. Bastard. Okay, so I'm not in the, the world's worst position at the moment. Yeah, actually I am. I'm, I'm pretty much dead. But let's, you know, 
let's get him to play some stuff, see what he has. You know, maybe he'll make a poor move and, you know, screw up somehow. That's a 2-6, so I'm going to pump it up to a 3-7 just to keep it alive. Really, once again, what I'm all I'm trying to do is to see what's in his deck. Uh, Lumber Knot, okay. Oh, that's not going to help, and I can't kill anything he's got. So I'm fucked in the ass right now. I'm just going to quit and move on. And when you lose a game, don't do this. Don't, don't, just... Just don't draw the cards that are coming up. You know why? They do this on purpose to you. They put the exact cards that you'll need to win that game coming up in the next three turns. <sighs> Wizards, oh, I hate you so. Trepanation Blade might be very useful in this matchup. Uh, since he's... I, I'm guessing that he's not playing... You know, actually, now that I think about it, Trepanation Blade is a terrible idea. Uh, Smite the Monsters is the better pick. Uh, tre uh, Trepanation, I'm guessing that he either has uh, Splinter Fright, or he has some zombies. And now that I think about it, Trepanation Blade might actually hurt that. But it could deal more damage, and I have absolutely no issues with milling people. Okay, so this game's over. Sorry, did I, did I just spoil it too early? Regardless of whatever occurs, I get turn one, direct damage. Whatever he plays, I really couldn't care less. Turn two, I get my Mayor of Aberbrook. So if he doesn't have a two drop, that's about to become a nasty motherfucker. Okay, oh, uh, I'm, I take it he's got zombies in his deck. And he uses that essentially to uh, get zombies into play. And also get a 2-2 zombie token. I like Cellar Door. Maybe I'm one of the few people out there that does, but I actually like the card. I'm going to keep a mana back just in, just in case uh, he's got... Uh, I, I'm going to keep the... Uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to keep the other um, uh, blazing torch in my hand just in case he has a uh, werewolf or something of that sort. Alright, now I'm just gonna, you know, it's green, so I really don't have to worry about removal. Um, he does it to me, and that's a desperation attempt right there. He must not have another blue mana, or he just really needs a 2-2 creature right now. Either way, I'm gonna be pooping out. Uh, there it goes, there's the match. Okay, I win. Yay.